We've located Nerdio Manager for MSP in the Azure Marketplace. Our next step would be to click Create. Let's quickly discuss the requirements before moving forward. As you can see, I'm logged in with my admin user. That user needs to have both global administrator rights within the tenant, as well as ownership rights to the subscription that I'm going to be using, right? So we look at our first option here is to choose the subscription for the managed app project. Uh, I'm choosing that subscription that I've got ownership rights to. Now with any Azure managed app, you're generally going to see uh, resources in two resource groups. The consumer is going to manage one resource group and the publisher is going to manage the other. Uh, in that case, Nerdio is going to manage the app group down here and you'll have full access to the resource group here. Um, so we're going to call this first resource group, which is going to contain the managed app object. We'll call it NMM. Oh, let's go actually click on create new. We'll call it NMM RG managed app object. We'll hit OK. I'm going to place everything in West US. That's where I'll be working out of. And then for the managed app details, let's call the application Nerdio Manager MSP. And we'll go ahead and leave this resource group default. And I'm going to just copy that. We'll hit review and create. There'll be some validations. There we go. And we'll also need to agree to the billing terms. Please keep in mind, right, this is important to understand and review. And then we'll go ahead and hit create. And this will likely take about five to 10 minutes, maybe less to completely create. We'll be able to check that status as we go. And I'll hit pause on the recording while this completes. Okay, we can see the deployment has completed. If we look at this resource here, Nerdio Manager for MSP, we can click on it. And this will actually take us to the managed app object resource. And so we can actually click on the managed resource group. This is the one that contains the actual resources. We'll give this a moment to load. And we'll notice we've got six new resources. We've got a key vault, we've got an SQL server and database, and then we've got the app services uh, and necessary resources. So if we look at the app service here, a web admin portal, unique uh, naming right there at the end. We'll go ahead and click on that. And this will allow us to get started with our initial instance. I'll give this just a moment to load. Okay, and here we go. We can see we've got a URL right here, right? That's actually um, showing how we would get to the web admin portal. And I'm going to open that in a separate tab and I'll go right to that. But let's talk real quick about, you know, kind of what's running this. So if I go back one level, again, if we go to app service plan here, this is the underlying VM that's that's running the web app that is Nerdio Manager for MSP, right? It's important to remember that you've just installed and isolated, right, a, a singular instance of a Manager, which is a web application, which will communicate to your clients as you add those accounts. And we can actually see, you know, what that looks like in here. We'll go into greater detail on this in another lesson, but it's just important to know, um, you know, kind of where that, that driving resource is that makes the manager run. Now, if we go here, we can see we're actually ready to complete the install, right? At our custom or, or I should say unique URL. So let's pause there for a moment and then we'll go through this install. Okay, I'm going to copy the script and you'll see this a lot. Anytime we push an update out, you'll be able to grab it this way. Um, we'll go ahead and hit launch. Azure Cloud Shell. So Azure Cloud Shell is going to allow us to basically send commands to the Azure resources, right? Much like PowerShell, but it's it's cloud-based. So you'll need a, a storage component for that. If you don't have one set up already, this will ask you to set it up. I've already got one, so it's going to open up Cloud Shell. We'll just give that a moment. Okay, we've got Cloud Shell up. Just to confirm again, right, I'm actually copying that PowerShell script. I'm pasting it here. We'll go ahead and hit enter to let that kick off. And this is going to go through the process, right, of updating the contents of my web app, right? Um, so this will likely take 
let's call it five minutes, maybe less, maybe slightly more. You know, as, as I set some of these expectations of time, please keep in mind, right, that they are just expectations based on um, Azure's ability to communicate and respond. So I'm going to hit pause for a moment while this completes. Uh, we'll just point out, right, we can kind of see, you know, specifics to, to what it's talking to. I see my subscription. I see that group. And I'll meet you right back here. Excellent. And that has finished. We can see we're back at the shell. I'm going to go ahead and close that and come back here. I can hit F5 to refresh. Again, keep in mind we're at our URL, so it'll ask me to log in. And now I'm going to provide the uh, consent. And we're in NMM. And go through the registration. Give me a moment here. I'll hit register. Again, we can see like the tenant and sub information down here that's getting confirmed with that registration. And again, we see that admin portals right there. We should see our initial install of NMM. Excellent. We'll go through these blades in the next lesson.